Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're back out in our garden this morning. We've got our okra we have planted here. We have grass coming up between the rows. Um, Hall's Tool Company has come out with some new cultivator teeth. Uh, the original ones that we had were the very small ones. It's great for just breaking the ground up. But when you have grass coming up in it, I'm going to try to get it here where I can show it to you. Hoss has come up with two new varieties of cultivator teeth here. We got, they're like very wide ones here. And you can set them in any configuration you want. We have a narrow one I put in the front. Then we have two wide ones that have these wings on the edges of them. We're going to be using this to go between our rows uh, in the regular double wheel hoe to take the grass out. And then we're going to come back with the high arch wheel hoe and we're going to actually fertilize and bed our okra up. So let's get this in and kind of see how this is going to work for taking out the grass between the rows. Oh, this, this is perfect, guys. It cuts it off right below the ground. Yes. Yeah. You see the grass is left over? It literally cuts it off underground. Look at that. It just it cuts it all off underground. Perfect. Wait. It shows the roots. I mean, it's pulling the roots yeah, up. Yeah, it gets it below the roots. And it looks like it's still there, but I mean, literally, it's all cut off underground, which is perfect. Makes it easy to clean the garden up. Perfect. Okay guys, we've got our high arch wheel hoe. We have, um, I call them half shovels. Uh, they're the plows on the back of it here. I have them set out as wide as they'll go. Now I have toolbars. I can actually make them wider than I need to. A uh, horse has all the accessories to make these plows whatever you need. You can set them up in any configuration. I like the high arch because the wheels are further apart. I like the regular wheel hoe because I can go between the rows with it. And I can plow stuff when it's little with the wheel hoe, but the high arch, the wheels are very far apart. Uh, I can set my plows really wide if I need to. And we're going to go through here now. It's time to bed this okra up and see if we can, uh, we've got it fertilized. We went ahead and put some triple 13 by it. Um, we're way behind on everything this year, guys, because the weather has just screwed us up so bad. So we're going to try to fertilize this and we're going to try to push it to get it going before it actually gets to be too late in the year. Now we have already dumped in this little spot right here, probably eight uh, bucket loads of manure and stuff like that on the tractor uh, this spring and we tilled it all in. So we're hoping to be able to get a really good harvest out of our okra this year. It's not much, but I think it'll be enough to, to satisfy us for the year if we can get it to go. And now this is the Clemson Spineless number 99 that we have here. It's the first time we've ever planted it here. We usually do the Star of David, and the Star of David has done fantastic for us, but we're trying the Clemson Spineless just to see how it does this year.
hunger, it would be. Okay, guys, you can see the results of the okra. Didn't take us but maybe 15 minutes at the most with the right equipment. Hall Stool has the right equipment. I advise y'all, really encourage you, not advise, but encourage you to go over and look at the Hall Stool products. They're very, very good for products. We'll have a link in the description down below. You can go check it out from our link. Uh, we are an affiliate for Hall Stool. Doesn't cost you any more money. It's just that Hoss, you know, they help us out a little bit for helping them out. And guys, I love the equipment. It's not that we we don't try to we're not trying to push it or sell it or anything like that. We're just trying to show you how easy it is to use and how good it is. Uh, it really makes our life simple. I mean, you take this right here. I would have had to have took a hoe and I would have had to just hoe and hoe and hoe and would have wore us out. You know, but using the hoss tools we can go through here, it's not hard. Makes it really easy to get the ground good and soft and tilled up. I'm telling you, really makes a difference. We're going to see now if the okra actually makes. I've never planted this variety here before. So we'll just see. Time will tell, and we'll take you along on the journey and show you the progress of it and how it works. And the good thing about the double wheel, just a plain double wheel hoe is, we can come back, even though the okra gets big, we can still plow between the rows and get the grass out. That's one thing that we really like about it. So thank you guys for watching Deep South Homestead.